Hey everybody, it's time to start operating. Wait, you're no surgeon. No, I'm not. Not a real operation. It's, it's going to be more like operating circulars. We have discussed previously in classes about Regulation J how Reg J allows for the creation of an operating circular that will be specific to the FedNow service. So you may have been asking, well, just what is an operating circular? Well, the operating circulars, they provide the operating procedures for the operational description for the products and services that are used by the Fed. Each product or service that is used by the Fed has its own operating circular. There are several of them out there. Operating Circular 1, or we call it OC1, it's, it's for master accounts. You see, Operating Circular 1 contains the terms for opening, for maintaining, even terminating a master account with the Federal Reserve Bank, as well as the provisions regarding Reserve Bank's services applicable to an institution, whether or not they maintain a Reserve Bank account or a master account. This one will apply to Fed now. Also, there is Operating Circular 2. It's for cash. There's Operating Circular 3. It applies to checks. There's Operating Circular 4. It's for ACH. There's Operating Circular 5 or OC5. It's for electronic access. Now, Operating Circular 5 includes the terms for how a financial institution may access certain services and applications provided by a Federal Reserve Bank and how an institution is supposed to send and or receive data from the Federal Reserve Bank through an electronic connection. This will also apply to FedNow and the FedNow service because financial institutions will be required to have an electronic connection to the Fed, either directly themselves or through a third-party service provider. Then we see Operating Circular 6. This one is for FedWire. Now, Fedwire will be used for liquidity management transfers and having money available in your master account. But other than that, I wouldn't say it applies directly to FedNow service, though it will be used as part of it. We're going to skip operating Circular 7, and we're going to jump to the most important one regarding the FedNow service, and that is operating Circular 8. Operating Circular 8 is dedicated to FedNow and dedicated to the FedNow service. It will provide the operating procedures and operational description of the FedNow service, including details related to profiles, to processing options, to expectations, to requirements, and even guidance for how to use the FedNow service. When it comes to the FedNow service and the operating circulars, the ones I would say to know that are going to directly apply to the FedNow service are going to be Operating Circular 1 for master accounts, Operating Circular 5 for the electronic access, most importantly, of course, Operating Circular 8 specifically dedicated to the FedNow service. If there is a payments question you want answered, well, you might want to hit that subscribe button because we probably got a video already on the way for it. Or you can email me, Kevin, at paymentsprofessor.com. Here at the Payments Professor, we make learning payments fun, engaging, and entertaining. Well, when we can. For now, class dismissed.